What is up? I am Crypto Mason, and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We look for gold in every single aspect of our lives, and we always find it. Now, today, we are back for another daily market update. Uh, yesterday was pretty hectic with the Elon Musk um, situation. This dude literally tweeting out the HBAR symbol. Um, there, I had a lot of debates in the comments with people. Um, clearly, he was referring to the mathematical uh, uh, the mathematical meaning to that symbol. But we like to speculate. So let's get into what the market has for us today. 1.75 trillion altcoins and Bitcoin sort of have bounced here, right? We're all green today. Um, basically, you bought anything on here, you're, you're in profit. Like that's literally how easy it is. You're in profit at least 8%, 4%, you know, 15% on Waves, Luna, Matic, Osmos. I encourage everybody to check out Osmosis. This is a this is a hidden gem right here on the Cosmo uh, Cosmos network. Uh, Cosmos is also a hidden gem, in my opinion. Very undervalued. So, look at what Bitcoin has, though. Three. We printed three yellow X's. Okay. I did not notice this on the four-hour chart. Three yellow X's. Um, this is signs of manipulation. Basically, what I think they do every single time is the news, the initial news drops the Bitcoin price, and then they manipulate it and push it further to make the crash look worse, right? But we did hit a bounce right here. Um, I think the lowest we got was, let me see, 36,600 36, here. Stayed above 30, uh, 36,600. Um, but also... The way you can actually tell that this manipulation is accurate, in my opinion, is these three green dots that have happened here. Um, a green dot on Market Cipher, and notice how there's this momentum wave right here. There's double, like stacked green dots here. So that's showing that it was pretty confident in calling the bottom, but it was inaccurate, right? That's because the man manipulation brought it down. Um, so th like this could have been the bottom here at 40,000, but we got pushed further. Once again, Bitcoin, we're waiting for this to make up its mind. Um, we're in, in a macro on a macro scale. We're literally, you know, just between 35,000 and like, uh, you know, 45,000 simple sideways is even worse sideways. Bitcoin action price action is even worse than going straight down or straight up, in my opinion, because it's like every two weeks, it's a bull market, and then people are screaming that it's a bear market, you know, every couple days. So let's look at the effect that um, the effect that uh, Elon Musk had on HBAR, and then we're going to talk about the XRP lawsuit, some very powerful stuff coming out of that today. Uh, and then um, I also bought an, a new NFT a new NFT, and we're going to talk about, um, what else? Uh, that's it. Let's keep, uh, oh, and the Shiba Inu metaverse, the Shiba Inu metaverse. Okay. So H bar, if we go on the four hour, there's a clear uptrend that, that broke out because of Elon highest we got was 26, 25 cents, which is a wick above this huge macro trend line which I don't even know if it's still valid, but I like watching HBAR every time it dumps below this, try to quickly get back above it. Um, but HBAR looks pretty good. Four-hour money flow is starting to trail off there. 12-hour is about to start in the green, so this might be good over the next couple days for HBAR. Take a look at this, though, on Lunar Crush. So if you guys don't know about Lunar Crush, basically it tracks, like, social engagement for cryptos and um hedera hashgraph was number one the number one altcoin out of 3571 the 24 hour activity the price went up 15.37 percent um it had 13 million 13.5 million social engagements in 24 hours <laughs> crazy right and look at the price the price should have went up more in my opinion um also, some more Hedera right here. We have the USD coin. USDC is a stable coin on Circle, right? Circle Pay and Coinbase brought this 
USDC, like they made this, right? So why are they partnering with Hedera? Or why are they on HBAR, Hedera, sorry, and uh, not on Coinbase? Why is HBAR not on Coinbase? But this, look at what they say right here. Fiat-backed currency. That's what we're doing? So we're backing nothingness with more nothingness. Because digital currency is the definition of nothingness. It, it just evaporates. You just click one button and you mint it. It's not even a physical thing, right? So that's nothingness. And we're backing it with fiat, which we know is nothingness as well. They're getting themselves deeper and deeper into just horrible stuff. But this is cool to see USDC on Hedera. This means that you can send USDC, the stable coin, so basically the US dollar, instantly anywhere in the world in three seconds. Watcher Guru says breaking Shiba Inu announces 99,000 digital real estate properties available for purchase in their metaverse. Dude, if you can pick one of these up, I can't believe I'm saying that, but if you can pick one of these up, dude, that might be crazy. That might be crazy. That might, it might pay off. Um, no financial advice. I have not even looked into this. I just wanted to include this because, you know, Shiba's making some decent moves here. They have the one of the strongest communities. Now, moving on to XRP talk. <clears throat> The XRP whales have accumulated $1 billion in three months. $1 billion in three months. So is something coming? <laughs> is something coming? Well, we have some, some stuff right here. So there's this dude named Joseph Hall, right, from the SEC. And he is saying that there's, pl uh, there's a pretty good chance that S the SEC will lose all its merits over this XRP case. Take a look at what he says. I'm not sure what the SEC is planning on proving through the XRP litigation either. I continue to be perplexed why the SEC decided to bring that case. Their entire regulatory project could be basically shut down. They lose all their merits here. And I think there's a pretty good chance that they will lose all their merits. That is crazy. Pretty compelling that the investors themselves, that's us, are showing unhappiness and concern here. Of course, this is a huge controversy here. Um, this guy it says expert discovery is about to end in a few days. And John Deaton says um, until the SEC turns over all of these documents, there's going to be no talk of settlement, no serious settlement talks. Um but is settlement coming? Like the, the, the accumulation says that, I mean, these guys are still buying at 70 cents. They're still buying at 70 cents. Um, and I'm bullish on XRP, man. I'm just a perma bull. Sometimes I get negative on it because it's just the, the biggest waiting game, um, anxiety filled roller coaster thing, you know, it's crazy. But <clears throat> so that was Joseph Hall from the SEC, former SEC guy. Um, we have Brian Ross right here. He says, I hate to admit it, but I think the theme of 2022 is, is that we will be correct about corporate cryptos winning, right? So I've told you guys that the corporate cryptos are going to win. It just, it's just the truth. It they will win. They're, they have the whole traditional finance and all that system to bring over. They have all of that, all the money in there, all the corporations in there. It's going to come over. Um, he says regulations are coming and markets are too weak for many half-assed projects to survive. He might be, um, <clears throat> or we might be right here. We might be right here. Moving on, Intel has launched this blockchain chip or this Bitcoin mining chip. It's called Bonanza Mine. Hmm, Bonanza Mine, kind of weird, in my opinion, <laughs> compared to the other names here. Um, but you can see it is pretty good, right? They, they're saying it's going to challenge the reign of Bitcoin's mining, uh, China's Bitcoin mining firms. You can see Bonanza Mine is coming in at a 55 um, on joules per terahash here. And you see the ant miners. This is what everybody gets. And then there's the Bitfury. So it's pretty good chip. Pretty good chip. Y'all can read about that if you want. 
Now, let's get into NFT talk because I just bought a new NFT, man. 0.7 ETH. <clears throat> I had to. <clears throat> so, take a look at this. Since July 2021, NFT's share, this is the NFT share of the total Ethereum token transfers. So, any tokens built on Ethereum getting transferred around, <clears throat> NFT's, um, at the, they've overtaken everything else. Stable coins and ERC twenties. NFTs have overtaken them. Insane. Okay, so this is the NFT I bought, bro. Don't laugh at me. <clears throat> Don't laugh at me, bro. I, I bought the emo one. This is called. Um, <clears throat> this is not sponsor or anything. <clears throat> tubby cats. Okay, tubby cats. Now shout out to Blockchain Boy for put, uh, posting his. Um, he posted his. I'm like, okay, these are like. The collection is extremely cute. There's no utility, I don't think. Like, I just aped into this, right? Um, no financial advice. Don't go buying this. Actually, the floor is pretty high already. It's at point, uh, 60 last time I checked. 62 now. So it's pretty expensive to get in. But look at this one. Look at these. So I'm, I'm experimenting with some more ETH NFTs. My, um, my uh, dead friends also revealed I got this one. 13 y'all know one of my favorite numbers if you're an og on this channel you know 13 is one of my favorite numbers nice little dead friends right there um mutant hybrid of course pink spiked what is that pink spiked hybrid collar pretty decently rare tiger hybrid decently rare <laughs> hopefully um but there you go that is the daily market update I mean, altcoins have bounced, so if you bought anything, dollar cost average in and know what you hold. It's just a fact. Buy all the fundamentally strong projects because this industry is staying, and if you just dollar cost average in, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to end this video like this, $2 trillion, $2 trillion market cap is nothing. That's nothing. We're going to do 10, 20, right? Even uh, Raul Paul says 200 trillion, 200 trillion total market cap on crypto, which would be, we would all be rich, like no matter how much you hold basically. But that is all we've got. Make sure you're following my Instagram and Twitter right here. If you wanna keep up with where I'm at right now, I'm in Cabo for NFT Cabo um, in a cup or when is it? Tomorrow, it starts tomorrow, then goes to the 28th. But I'm trying to keep up the daily market updates. Um, Appreciate all of you. I love every single one of you and goodbye.